Hey guys, Rick Hogg with Warhog Tactical here, and I want to tell you why I've partnered with Oakley. So I'm a 29-year U.S. Army Special Operations Combat Veteran, and I've entrusted Oakley Eyewear for my eye protection for over 30 years. So I'm going to slightly date myself. Going back to the 80s, Oakley's, Oakley had this term called thermonuclear protection. That was what their marketing was all about. And you know, you kind of chuckle about it until I saw this one picture. It was of a deckhand on one of the carriers and he had caught some jet blast or something in his face. And really the only thing you could see that was protected was where his Oakley eyewear was. So to me, that was a big selling point um, for wanting to use Oakley and I've used it pretty much my entire time in the military. So looking at specifically the M-frame and its um, evolution along the way. So late 90s, early 2000s, and these are not the exact uh, M-frames, but they're similar to the design. You had kind of the original M-frames where they kind of stuck out to the side and wrapped around. Um, they were a little, as far as bulky on the sides, and again, Oakley's always stepped up to make those improvements, to make things better. So as we start progressing into, and I believe these are probably their um, M-frame, probably Gen 1s, just because they don't have the small holes in the back. And if you notice, just to show you, when we get into the 3.0s a little bit, we're missing the rubber there, but I've kept the rubber there. And it's just the point being that as things progress, we said, hey, these, these weren't working that well for us. We had to pull them off because of our ear protection. Oakley was always right there making those adjustments a little better for us. And then if you notice in the front, this particular lens here has a hole in it, um, which was probably around there 2.0. If you notice kind of the original M-frame lens, there's no hole in there. And then really what they tried to do somewhere along the way was they put these vent holes in there. And again, always trying to do something um, innovative to help out the end user. And this was really to try to help with the anti-fogging. So where we kind of sit at today is we're looking at both our M-Frame 3.0, and I'll get into that a little bit, and then our M-Frame Alpha. So the important thing to understand about both of these eyewear is they both meet the ANSI Z87 impact for optics and their mil-spec ballistic standard. Both of these systems hard-coded for anti-scratch on every lens, and both of these are on the authorized protected eyewear list also the special operations eyewear program. So let's do this. We're gonna start by getting into just the 3.0 a little bit. You can see Oakley has this great case they provide. It's got some different things in here. We've got our different um, anti-fog in the back. We've got the strap, kind of retention. And then we actually get in to the glasses themselves. So looking at the 3.0, you can see we've slimmed it down. They've taken away that plastic earpiece there and they've really contoured the shape of this eyewear so it's holding onto your head. And I just wanna give you a slight comparison in the difference in the old one. So really you can see Oakley's always sitting there trying to improve their product to make it better for us, the end user. And then what they have done, so before it used to be really difficult to try to get this front latch piece off. So they've made it really easy where now I can just take my finger in there. I merely just pop it up. And then what winds up happening is I can easily swap out my lens for whichever one I want. And again, I can just pull this one out. I can grab one of the other ones out of there if I want. And again, I'm just putting in one side to the other once I slide it in, make sure that both sides are in there properly. Kind of push the front back in. And then what I'll do is I'll take my retention piece, hook it in the back, bring it around to the front. And again, I can clip it through the hole right there. And it just gives me a little added piece as far as the security of the lenses.
So kind of shifting gears over to the Alpha Series. So you can see again, we've got the anti-fog that comes with it. And then it also has the retention strap. So what you can see with these here is if you kind of look underneath here, what Oakley has done is they have put a gap in there to help assist with that ventilation and anti-fog. Because for us, probably one of the biggest killers was always having those lenses fogged up. And this greatly improves that to minimize the fogging up. Now, what they have done too is they've slightly adjusted versus having that front piece and trying to work the lenses out at that angle. What they have done is they have this side lever that you just press. Now, once you press that, what winds up happening is the lens comes out to the side, slips down, and it comes out all together. What you can see is they've got this notch system in there, which helps just lock the lenses in. I could swap it out for a different set if I wanted to. If I wanted to use the clear, I can easily secure it out of my case. I'm putting it into the side notch, simultaneously making sure that I'm making contact with the center. It locks in once it's good. Then I just end up closing my piece and it's locked in and I'm able to put my eyes back on. So again, this is just kind of a quick overview of the Oakley M-Frame series. We've got the 3.0, we've got the Alphas. Here's the thing guys, God only gave you two eyes and for me, I entrust my eye protection to Oakley Standard Issue.